Better internet connectivity at potentially lower cost. Well, that's something internet users can look forward to when Singapore fully taps unused TV channels for the internet. New rules to govern the use of the channels, known as TV white space, or what's dubbed super Wi-Fi, were unveiled this evening by Communications and Information Minister Jakob Ibrahim at a meeting with his counterparts in the region. There are various ways mobile devices can access wireless networks in Singapore. There's the 3G network and the 4G network. There's also the wireless at SG network. But there are untapped channels like TV broadcast bands. Typically, they are used to air TV programs. But some channels are unused. These are called TV white space and there are 24 such channels in Singapore. These channels will soon be opened up for mobile devices to access wireless network. IDA today introduced new rules which potential service providers must comply with. This is to ensure the use of TV white space for internet access does not interfere with TV broadcast signals. These rules will take effect on November 1st this year. Gardens by the Bay started a trial in December 2012 to experiment using TV white space to boost internet connectivity. After fine-tuning the process, it introduced to the public in October 2013. And that simply means visitors to Gardens by the Bay will have one more option when logging on to the internet. Without the Wi-Fi, what the visitor can use is only the 3G network. But now with this, we are much better in terms of uh, connectivities. Actually, they allow us to just install the the Wi-Fi system without digging the garden, which is extremely useful to us because that actually helps to save our precious plants. And that's why these devices, known as antennae, are fitted at some areas within the garden. Signals from a user's mobile device are sent to the antennae. The antennae convert them into TV signals and are sent to another device known as the base station. The base station is linked via fibre connection underground to an internet provider's network. The network signals are then sent back to the mobile user's device using the same route. TV White Space boasts a wider network range. But ultimately, which infrastructure will be used to support TV White Space will depend on consumer demand as well as the products that manufacturers come up with.